Hey, so what we're going to do today is actually go through what it means to taste wine. You'll see the experts, they do all kinds of things. They look at it, they smell it, they swirl it around in their mouths. What are they getting from it? Well, let me try and explain really quickly and simply. You'll see that I've got a white tablecloth. Good reason for that. We want to be able to see what the wine looks like. So a nice white background, perfect. You don't want any colors, any, any, any designs taken away from what the wine looks like. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tilt it away from me like that, and I'm going to look down into it. And when you do that, what you'll see is that you, you get the wine and towards the edge it's a lighter color than it is in the middle. I want you to learn a little bit, just, just when you open a red, just always look at it because you'll see with a Cabernet it'll be very, very dark, maybe black or purple, very trans, translucent in the center, and then it'll get just go out, out to sort of a pink at the edge. With a Pinot Noir like this one, much lighter color in the middle, sort of a light purple, going out to much more of a cherry red on the outside. If you open a red wine, and on the outside it's brown, that's a really bad sign. That probably means you've left it too long. Or if it's a gift from uh, great, great Aunt Edna, not the best gift in the world. She's bought you a bottle of old over the hill wine. Maybe a little like she is, who knows. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, very important, smell the wine. It looks pretentious, it looks snobbish. It's not, it's really where there's a lot of enjoyment in your glass of wine. And it's really where you understand what the flavors are about. You ever find yourself, you think, well, my flavor comes, my sense of flavor comes from what I taste, and that comes from the taste buds on my tongue. You ever find when you've got a cold, you can't taste anything? Your tongue's still waggling away like crazy, but you can't actually taste anything. That's because taste is aligned to your sense of smell. The reason you don't think about it that way is, every food stuff you, you eat, you look at it first. And so when you see a, a boiled potato on the plate, your brain looks at the boiled potato, it registers that image in your brain and it says, okay, that's a boiled potato. I know that's gonna taste like X because I've had that so many times before that your body's even stopped making any effort. The brain's already fun processed everything and already knows what it's gonna taste like. Think of that moment when you've picked up that bad shrimp. You get it into your mouth and uh, you spit it out, you don't want to get sick, right? Like I was last week. You don't want that to happen. The reason you're realizing, your brain has told you it should taste one way through experience, but your sense of smell has suddenly told you it tastes bad, so you've spit it out. So it's all about your sense of smell. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna smell the wine. To do that, really get your nose into the glass. Really good if you can get a nice big glass with a nice bowl, give it a swirl, Release the, uh, the, the aromas, the esters. Really get your nose in and really take a lot. Now, be careful. Don't ever fill the glass too full or you'll be snorting red wine. The consequences are not pretty, trust me. I've been there and done that. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a taste. Now, very important. You see what I did? It looks kind of funky. A little red wine on the chin there. Occupational hazard. I allowed, I drew some air into my mouth while I had the wine in my mouth. Reason for doing that is to bring the air in so we carry the aromas off the wine up to our olfactory bulb, which is where our sense of smell works. So we can really, really taste all the flavors in the wine. And then the last thing I did, which is very important if you're tasting wine as opposed to drinking wine, I spat it out. Uh, everybody goes, oh, that's a terrible waste. It sort of is, but it's just part of the wine industry. When you're tasting wine for a living, you need to spit or else you'd spend most of your days on the floor. Thanks.